One of the things that you learn pretty quickly working at a fabrication shop is that things don't always go to plan and oftentimes the plan changes just a little bit. So in the last video I showed you that the rear part of the rotisserie was done and we're not really changing anything here, but we do need to adjust the pivot point on the front. So the pivot point is right here and we want it to be at the same level as the front. Now, once we welded this little jig together right here, we realized that it was about six inches lower than the rear, which ultimately would be okay, but it does increase the radius of the front rotisserie portion. And then there could be some flex in the chassis when we turn it. So really we have to go back to the drawing board, redesign these brackets, flip this whole thing over so it's higher before we weld this all together. That means that Gary's over there redesigning the brackets and we're gonna cut some fresh ones, kind of taking a step back to go a couple steps forward. Today we've shifted gears a little bit away from the S13 to do a promo video shoot for this piece of equipment from Bentec called the Dragon. You guys have probably seen this on our Instagram. It cuts pipe and really throws a bunch of flames living up to its Dragon name. But we had a production crew actually come in here. They're still right there trying to figure out their next shot. Um, and we kind of finessed the S13 into that because they need some welding footage. And the last thing that we have left now that the car is on the rotisserie and it's able to be turned is just to finish some welds on the cage inside. We're gonna go over there and do that and then I will, I think for the first time, show you the actual rotation of the vehicle on the rotisserie. You really can't plan for everything because we just tried to load this car up and uh, it cleared everything but the light, as you can see, and now it's in a million pieces on the ground. So a tiny hang up, a dumb mistake, but we're not gonna repeat it here or here or here. Take two.
we are going to be saying goodbye to the S13 for a couple of weeks. It's going to be getting blasted right here. And then we actually talked to the neighbor over there, Creative Cars, who's going to put an epoxy finish over everything that's been blasted so it doesn't re-rust because the car will have to sit for a couple days, a couple weeks, whatever it is. We don't want to repeat what we're just undoing. Um, but this is a big step for that car. We're going to be dropping it off and it's coming back clean. Uh, Brian, you got to be excited that the car has been at this point now? Uh, I'm definitely excited now. It's been a little bit of a lull as far as motivation kind of going away, but um, certainly it's here at the blaster now. That's going to reinvigorate some motivation. And then as soon as it goes next door to the body shop, we'll get it an epoxy primer. That way it won't flash rust again. We'll get it back to the shop and then we can start designing the tube front end, which will definitely bring all the motivation back. Exactly. And I think we've all been there where we've taken on a project and it kind of slows down and we're hands off and then it gets put on a back burner and we don't pick it up for a couple of years. So everyone has that feeling, but it's important to kind of get a, a, around that. And one of the steps is just to do each little thing at a time. And now we've checked off the list blasting. Um, we'll get that front end done and there's a lot of awesome content to come. So thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. If you haven't seen the ones before this, they're all on our YouTube page. While you're there, <clears throat> like. Like them, share them, subscribe to our page, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode.